How about painting in the most easy and pretty way? Let's use some toilet paper rolls to create our tulips. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Let's grab some toilet paper rolls to begin with. As you can tell, I'm just making some shapes for the petals and for the kind of the greenery that will go with the petals as well. You just have to squeeze it with your own hands and that's really it. Now, I'm gonna show the whole process of uh, adding paint to the roll because I think a lot of people think that my rolls are somehow different, which is not true. Take your time in putting pigment into your uh, toilet roll. You can do more and more. Keep adding. I think the secret for it is to make sure that the roll is wet enough keep adding pigment keep adding water so your roll will not be as hard it's going to become a little bit softer at the edges and it's going to be so much easier to press it and really have the good printing uh, because uh, i think a lot of times uh, you have been just adding not enough maybe pigment and when you were stamping it just didn't stamp as well it wasn't as flexible that's the little secret however it's not that magical but it is going to help you if you will keep adding sometimes i'm using the same roll over and over instead of jumping for the brand new roll i'm adding the same color pigment that i stamped my petals with and i wish you to see as well that the colors that i'm using the paints that i'm using are the kids uh, watercolor paint set the cheapest set i own uh, from all the paints that i have and i really wish you to see that you can really be creative paint with basic supplies now i'm adding a little bit of a darker shade of pink because I think it would be lovely to have some kind of color differentiation, a little bit of depth. And also, if you're curious about the brushes, I love them. Medium set um, and there are some other that I have been using. All the links are in the description box. I updated my links because I know you have been asking me about the brushes, the flat brush from previous videos, the, the one that we have been using for the dot paintings. I updated my links so I found those brushes brushes you can check it out once you have your petals ready i didn't wait for the actual flowers to be dry i decided to jump in and stamp the greenery as well and i was hoping that it's going to be a little bit touching with each other and that it's going to be still wet so it will really nicely maybe mix up now i wish you to see that i have been taking my time in terms of stamping this greenery because i really wanted to have a proper proper positioning and I actually stood up to to that I literally was not sitting down but actually I stood up over my you couldn't see it obviously but trust me I stood up and I could see over my flowers where I'm actually pressing that greenery if that's gonna help you but it did help me because it was not is easy to see where I'm actually going with that uh, roll so standing up helped me to really see where I'm placing it I think I placed it beautifully it's lovely and I love that I'm actually adding the shades of teal so it's not really that much green uh, but uh, teal and I think those two just complement each other beautifully and I love the idea that a little bit of that teal shades went into that pink and I just like that little bit of a mixture I am just filling the colors just a little bit of a play and then taking away excess uh, just to create um, a little bit of uh, depth a little bit of uh, this extra touch and I'm also taking with the wet brush taking away Away the pigment from the petals so you can see that once you have your brush wet and you take it um, a little bit of pigment away a brighter uh, thing is kind of appearing and it's giving this 3d effect this lovely lovely feel to to either the petals or anything like if I have been painting whatever recently I have been doing that. I love that idea. I love it's like I don't know if I'm sure that this technique has name. <laughs> is it wet on wet? Is it dry on wet or whatever it is? Lifting. Or maybe it's called lifting. I'm guessing it's lifting the pigment. So that's what I'm doing actually here. I'm so excited about this video because honestly, I really wanted to create a video and uh, that uh, you actually will try it. And I created this very similar on my Instagram reel. The short version of this was already on the channel channel but I thought wouldn't that be amazing to have the lovely chatty long video 
Now the stem has appeared and I was thinking that maybe we need a little extra even color because the pigment was kind of fading. Well, it wasn't fading. I just didn't add enough. I was taking my time and I just felt it would be nice to have even darker pink, even extra on the edges, even more of a contrast, which it's just something I like and probably technically where I'm placing it, it's not really possibly the most professional, I'm guessing, because it probably should be on one side only where the light goes. But I just paint how it feels right to me. I don't focus on technical side of it or how it should be in terms of uh, the realistic po po point of kind of looking at it. Now, the splashes, of course, I think the splashes are making the whole page fuller a little bit and I... I did feel that it's a little empty she so I added splashes and of course I had to doodle a little bit yet again I I have not waited uh, for the pigment to dry I didn't mind going over the wet one and the pen that a pilot pen that I'm using you can find in the description as well because it's a fantastic one it works on wet which is amazing and doesn't clog I did ruin one or two pens so be very careful it's not designed for it to be used on the wet but I have used it so many times and I've been lucky 99.9% so I hope you are as well. Um, and I like the idea that the actual water and the fact that pigment is still wettish, that it's kind of dissolving that black pen a little bit here and there. And I love that look. I always loved it. And here it's no different. I will be adding a little bit of uh, water to it because I just felt wouldn't that be nice to have a little bit of movement even more with the pigment and also with those little splashes as well. So I grabbed my brush and I was just gently dragging, dragging where the pen was and also where the splashes were just to have a little extra touch of color in the background I just felt it would be nice and it will be just something that will fill the page it fills a little bit more extra I could add some leaves I thought about it afterwards no I did think about it during then I thought about it afterwards I'm looking at it thinking I could have added leaves for whatever reason I haven't and it's the second time that I didn't and I like it that empty issue it's nice it's okay to have pretty empty flower without um without leaves as well it's okay I think in my eyes it's okay like to be a little bit outside of the regular zone of how it's supposed to be done because this is more magical I would I would say of course some more splashes and this one is the watercolor white gouache i love this one as well i like the touch of that extra extra touch of uh, splashes the pigment the um, interest that is happening and those are also some other branded uh, gouaches kind of tealy bluey just to finish it off and i love it my my gorgeous friends i really hope this was something of your interest that you will try it for yourself of course uh because i really really would love you to think to think and to see that it's doable that it's so pretty that it could be done with very limited amount of supplies no skills needed just your time and voila i'm adding some glue of course for my forever favorite glitter hollow glitter I think it's finishing my project beautifully, perfectly, just lovely. And I'm obsessed with glitter. As you know, if you have been watching my videos, you know that. So I hope you like it as well. My friends, have a beautiful time painting. Let me know your thoughts. Would you like more videos of this kind where it's really easy, simple technique or trick? If you would like that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. As always, a pleasure to be in your homes. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Till the next time. Happy painting.